No takers? Fine. Screw you. I think we should, that's good. My mom good. says I'm cool. She's been lying to me for years. <laughs> wow, tough crowd today, man. You guys suck. What is going on again, Nerd Raiders? Thank you guys so much for coming back to hang out with me today. We're playing some more Ark Survival Evolved, and we're over here on top of the Blue Obelisk once again, and we've got some stuff to talk about today. I'm very excited to talk to you about, talk to you guys about this. Big changes have happened, and I've got to inform you guys all about it. It's, it's something that's really pretty cool, uh, but it might come as a little bit of a shock, so we're going to talk about it together. I am Nick. This is Nerd Parade, guys. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. Now, you'll probably notice that things are looking a little bit different, and that is exactly what I want to talk to you guys about. Now, we have had a, a couple of issues pop up with the server, and a couple of, I guess, bugs that you would like, you, that you could probably say when I was trying to balance everything out for the start of Season 5. With the help of the leaders of the Red Kingdom and the Green Kingdom, we all got together and had a bit of a meeting, and we've really tried to stomp out all of these bugs together, and I'm very excited to talk to you uh, about it today. We've discovered a lot of things that were really imbalanced, and a lot of changes have happened. So, the reason why everything looks so different is that the server had a bit of a reboot. Uh, we tried to do it as early as possible in the season once we discovered these problems. We all got together and worked very hard on it, like I was saying. So it was a, definitely a team effort, and a big shout out to those guys for helping me. I, it really, truly means a lot. Thank you. Together, we're trying to bring you the, the primitive, most pvp server ever, I guess. Uh, oh, wyverns are going crazy. I hope these are our guys. Okay, they are. My heart stopped a little bit, I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. So, one of the biggest things, the biggest changes that you're going to see is there is a complete lack of tiered blueprints. No more. We've gotten rid of all of, tier, all of the tiered blueprints. It's just primitive... Primitive flak, primitive long necks, that kind of thing. All the tier blueprints are completely gone. And the reason why we did that is to really drive home the primitive aspect of PvP. And that's really what we were striving for. And I think doing that is going to be is going to make the server so much better. And we're really excited about it. The reason why, and this is the reason why we had to reboot it. A lot of people had tons of blueprints, tons of tiered blueprints, and when we decided that it was best to pull them out, it was basically the honor system. Okay, okay, go around, collect all your blueprints, get get rid of them, or say you got rid of them. And it it was just making things a little bit harder. So everybody agreed that the best situation for the server was to just clean slate it and then start over. So that's what we did. And we tried to kick that off really quickly. We announced what we were doing, clean slated it, and then we did a scramble again for the obelisks. Uh, I believe the green, the old green obelisk is now the red obelisk. We came back for the blue because I, I like the blue. I like living in the snow. It's fun. And then there is a new green king. So it's pretty cool. So people have shifted around a little bit, got to places that they wanted to be, and uh, and, and they, they battled for it. Uh, not too many people came after the blue obelisk, though. I think we were the only ones. I think, we, I think we're Vikings. We're, we're mountain men up in this trib. And I like it. I like being a mountain man. I'm growing my mountain man beard. No, I'm just kidding. I just don't feel like shading. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. I'm getting way off track. I'm so sorry. Okay, so some some of the other changes. That was the biggest one. That's the one that needed to uh, to reboot the server, and it's very very cool. the The way that we did this, the way that we impl implemented this, is that we got rid of completely. There are no more supply drops, and you're probably thinking, "What the crap? No more supply drops? That's why would you do that?" There's a reason, I promise. The reason why we got rid of all the supply drops is so it forces a, a player to ally or join a obelisk tribe so they can use the obelisk for transferring. And it by turning off the supply crates or the loot crate drops, there will be no more tiered blueprints. Um, and I know you're probably thinking, well, what about alphas and things like that? Yes, yes, we took care of alphas. Fishing, yes, don't worry, we took care of fishing. There's no more fishing. Uh, we've... We, spent quite a, a while together trying to work out all these bugs and i'm very happy with the result those guys were awesome they worked great with me uh and we were having some other issues with the higher tiered stuff uh the higher tiered stuff meaning like rockets c4 metal tier 
and the, some of the turrets. So the turrets, the turrets have now been completely eliminated. There are only plant turrets. There was an unforeseen problem with some of the turrets, and by increasing the turret damage, we we somehow passively increased the damage that a both a Calicotherum, the, the ones that you get drunk that throw the boulders, and rock golems. We increased the, the amount of damage that they do when throwing their boulders exponentially. Like, it was, it's just absurd. And they, those guys helped me uh, by show, they, they actually attacked us with it, and they were like, okay, yeah, this is really broken, you need to fix this. And so we, we had a laugh about it, and then we decided that we needed to pull the, the golems out, and uh, the Calicotherums as well, and, uh, for some reason, upping turret damage caused those guys to get a boost as well, and the turrets were just very underwhelming. For as much resources as they were costing to craft, they were just pretty bad. They were pretty bad. So we decided it was best to pull them out. Uh, there's no more turrets, and we did that for a reason. Instead of lowering the cost to, on turrets so that people could get more for turret density, that's what we're trying to avoid with the whole primitive thing in general, we just decided it's best to yank them. So we yanked the turrets, uh, C4 has been removed, rockets have been removed, it is now IEDs and grenades only because stone tier is now top tier. So that's another one of the big changes. A rock golems unfortunately had to go. There are no obelisks, I'm sorry, no supply drops. Uh, the only supply drops that spawn are artifact drops. Tech tier is still in the game, but it is it's going to be hard to do with no tiered gear, no tiered saddles at all. That's another thing. No tiered saddles for dinos, all primitive. Uh, it's going to be very hard to do, but the cost of replicators are very... They've been made very expensive. So that you can actually grind for the tech tier if you really want, but it's going to be very, 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 very hard to do, and you'll probably have to dedicate hours and hours and hours of time to do it so yes you can get it. it it's just overwhelmingly powerful and it would take a really long time to go for i'm just kind of wandering around the base i'm sorry this is our new base by the way this is what we're working with uh the server restarted for us last night and it is now it's relatively early in the day uh so we're going through the the changes that were made just i just want to show you guys off the base we're probably going to be doing a little bit of buildy buildy times and uh We've decided, all core tribes have gotten together and decided that the best way to handle the the reboot of the server, like a couple episodes in the season, it's still going to be season 5, but for the reboot of the server, the best way to handle it is to call a 48-hour 48, 48 ceasefire. That means there's still open-world PvP, which we'll, we can still go out and get into shenanigans, but as far as raiding obelisks or their immediate allies, uh, we've agreed on a 48-hour ceasefire, just to let people get back to where they were before we had to reboot the server. So, that's I think that's pretty much it. I think I covered everything. But that's kind of the nature of things right now. This is what we're this is the the server drama that we're dealing with. But it hasn't it hasn't really been dramatic at all because the whole server kind of banded together. Everybody has been super supportive. We want to make we all want to make the server better together, and that's what we're really like working hard and striving to do. And I think it's. I don't think it is it is coming together very very well and it was kind of bad on me uh in the in the beginning i kind of goofed when testing all of the settings for season five i tested them solo so i did never tested them in a mass raid situation and everything seemed to be relatively okay uh it all looked good on paper but kind of my bad testing by myself so i want to apologize for making those mistakes but getting the help from everybody else on the server it, it's it's worked out pretty well I think we're we're really now ready to officially kick off what I've been affectionately calling the season five the season five experiment because things are so different. We're taking elements of arc co and completely removing some of them, tweaking others to make it just a, a primitive game, like a very primitive game. Wyverns, you'll notice, uh, only fire wyverns exist on this server to keep it very like Game of Thronesy. Uh, we don't want people flying around poison spamming. Uh, and lightning wyverns, I, I just figured fire, fire only. It, it's Game of Thronesy, and that's one of the changes. You know, it's we're just tweaking so much that I, 
I wasn't thorough and I missed something. So I, I want to apologize for missing that and causing a little speed bump in this in this season. But uh, that's why we're kind of doing this video now to explain it. And I'm so sorry. I've gotten on a roll. Uh, it's become very long-winded. And I've just been like really standing around. I need to give you guys a tour of the base, show you what's going on, the, what we've been doing now that we've rebooted the server, and uh, also hopefully do some buildy buildy times and get things rolling a little bit uh, to, to get ourselves kicked back in. We've got a bit of a dino pin set up over here, but I think we're going to start to convert this into more of a base and get a dino pin going with behemo gates up here. We're building a... Oh, okay. Apparently, apparently Anki Tail is not going to let me out of the little dino pin. Gonna have a ramp here to try to get up. I think it's gonna be looking pretty nice. We've got this whole thing over here, like barrier walled off. Uh, I don't. It looks nice. I think we're gonna try to convert it into a partial dino pin. This is our base of operations currently. It's it's small, compact. It's safe over here. We're we're doing like a tiered wall of plant species, which is very cool going on over here. So they could still all remain irrigated. And over here, I'm glad we're getting Pharahs. We're taming dinos in this 48-hour ceasefire. That's what we're using the, the downtime for, is to try to get some tames so that we can farm a little more efficiently. We've just kind of double-layered it. We're going to try to get our courtyard of the kingdom, uh, which is basically the Blue Obelisk Terminal. That's going to be our courtyard, and we're trying to just protect that as much as possible. I think building over here uh, in er, earlier kind of stretched us a little too thin. And it took away some of the resource spawns in the, in this general area. I know we're taking up a lot of big ones in the, in the center there, but that's by design. We kind of have to do that. So we've got a couple of metal nodes access over here, which is which is good. It's going to be good. I'm going to turn my interface back on. I've been rocking the whole time without it. Oh, and I'm starving. That's good. There we go. Let's get, our, get some food in our bellies. The one good thing about removing turrets, metal tier structures, and the tiered blueprints is that metal farming will not be an all-consuming like soul-sucking venture on season five anymore you're going to be able to make enough pretty easily to supply yourself with primitive flak your primitive long necks multiples of them even to carry around in case they break and now now we're really talking about primitive pvp uh we're i'm not a huge fan of primitive plus i, I like a lot of people have suggested that why don't you just do primitive plus in my opinion, Primitive Plus has too many, I guess, use of, I don't want to say useless, but like, I I don't really care too much for like the BAP area and things. There's too much going on that takes away from what we're trying to do here, which is a PVP focus. Uh, so we're taking, we're just modifying core game mechanics. Primitive Plus is, is cool, but still very PVE flavored, and there's not a lot of attention to it it's not quite as balanced as what we have in the core game so that is kind of the reason why i don't like to tinker with primitive plus it's it's cool you can run around battle axes and and chop people in the head but for what we're uh for what we're trying to do here i'm very very happy with the way things are going currently so i have no intentions of adding primitive plus and we're trying to keep the mods to an absolute minimum we don't want to go crazy on mods because the, the the season and the server itself, Season 5, has been the most competitive level of PvP that I have ever seen. I'm, I'm just absolutely blown away on how competitive it is. So we're trying to keep it very simplistic, uh, as close to core game as we can with some quality of life stuff like uh, like stack mod and things of that nature. Uh, a little bit of S+, plus just for like the pulling features and the, being able to pick up certain things. All S+, plus structures still remain turned off. And uh, yeah, most of the stuff you guys already know. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of reiterating myself, but most of the stuff you guys already know. Uh, but I'm I'm very very excited about it. Oh, and an exciting announcement. I promise I'm gonna stop rambling after this, and we're gonna do some build ability times or something. An exciting announcement. As the at the current time of this video, the Nerd Parade server is currently number one in in the world. Number one in the world for unofficial servers. So. That is super exciting to me, and it makes me even it makes me even more driven to like continue to do something like this. We feel like I, I feel like we've got something here that really really is going to work over multiple seasons to come. And yeah, I leveled, and it's just it's very humbling and honoring to me that this, 
that so many people share my my passion with the primitive pvp and like to see it come to fruition so thank you guys everybody thank you everybody who plays on the server every one of you guys that watch the videos thank you for making the nerd parade season 5 game of obelisks server number one unofficial server in the world you guys are amazing thank you so much that I, I don't have words. I never would I have thought that one of the nerd parade servers would be number one unofficial in the world, and it's it's a crazy awesome awesome feeling. Okay, I promise I was gonna stop rambling. I, I'm I'm starting to get a little I'm getting a little emotional on you guys. I'm sorry, but we're going to do some buildy buildy times, maybe some tamey tamey times, and perhaps even some farmy farmy times. But we'll be our bees in just a moment once we figure out what the times we're gonna have. Catch you in just a second. I don't know what's happening. I'm like a lawler skating down the mountain on this guy. I like the Thackies. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's see if we can do that again. We're just gonna climb this. The Thackies are like my new favorite. Well, not my new favorite. I still gotta love the Spirit Finger uh, Therizinos, but these guys are definitely coming in close second. Oh, I can't climb that apparently now. No. Let me climb things. I want to climb all the things like a kitty. All right, never mind. We, we're back, you guys. We're playing around on the Thacky. And we have gotten wind that there is a Rex somewhere down in this area. And we're going to try to tame him. I think he's, uh, like, 140-ish. Was that right? Yeah, he's a 140. Awesome. Where, where'd you go? We found I, him. Oh, you found him? I'm, like, running down the hill. I'm joined with Rex and Gangsta Kid. Rex, are we going to tame a Rex? Yes, we're going to tame a Rex. It's Rex taming with Rex and Gangsta Kid? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, I didn't bring any darts, by the way. I just ran out on the kitty because I'm having way too much fun with this thing. And here, come back up here. I'll give some. And we're gonna breed like all of the kitties because I, I I want I want us to be like kitty riders. That's our thing. Rawr. I have no idea where we're going. By the way, I'm just hopping you could turn around. around. Go, go back up the, the path. You know where oh. the wyvern was? Uh, no, I don't. But I'm gonna. It, it was where you were uh, skating down the mountain. Oh, it was all the way up there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna it's climb. Going downhill. I'm gonna climb up the mountain like a boss right now. I'm just having fun doing this. I want to continue to do this for like the rest of the video. Just kidding. We're gonna tame that Rex. Rawr. Yes. Climb the mountain. Oh, he's not gonna climb it now. Yes, climb the mountain. I'm slowly getting the hang of this. I promise. <laughs> All right, enough of me having giggly fun with us. I am coming uh, to the side where? here, where I think. Oh, is this a is this a box? <gasps> Ooh, I found a box! Yay! I always like finding these. They're so much fun. I see a mammoth. I see another mammoth. But I it's uh right where you were at uh -huh. down there. You'll see a uh, fire wyvern. A fire wyvern is there. Okay. I'm coming down the mountain. Is it down the mountain side or is it up actually on the side of the mountain? Down the mountain face in okay. the iceberg. Towards the iceberg? Towards icebergs, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go towards icebergs then. I love how these guys don't take a lot of fall damage because normally I would have been dead by now. Alright, I am near icebergies. And I have yet to see you guys. Is it towards like the Nerdberg? Yeah? Kind of. Uh yeah, I think so. Okay. I'm gonna go to, like, the plateau area, because this guy's really pretty fast. <laughs> I'm just that having fun zooming on him. I, am I at the, no, I'm at, like, the plateau right across from the Nerd Iceberg. The Nerdberg. Okay, I'll meet you there. You're oh, hey, I found really far away now. Yeah, I ran pretty far. What level is this dude? Too fast, Nick. You're too fast. No way. I found a 60 Rex. That's not the right one. Can I munch him? Get, get thackied! Gonna battle. These are I love these things. These are my new battle mounts. I'm so in love with these thackies. Can I climb this tree if I'm scared? No. It's gotta I can you not climb regular trees? It's gotta be redwoods. Yeah. Okay, we are back. We've all joined up together and the Rex is right down in this general vicinity. Here he is. Here's that little bunghole, and we're gonna tame you. We're gonna make you our buddy. And I'm not even gonna get off the thacky to do it. <laughs> I love how you can do this. Right in the butt. Oh, he's gonna be munching that uh, Kalathakio throws the boulders and wrecks stuff. 
Or you do more damage than me? Oh, you're using arrows, that's why. Yeah. You're a pro. He's totally distracted. He gives no Fs. We're gonna... Oh, rip P dog. How many of us are shooting this thing now? Four? Three. Oh, three of us? Okay. We're gonna get up a little closer. 140. Nice. The only problem is when it goes down that, uh... Oh, it is gonna munch it. All right. Boulder throwing thing. Yeah, I'm gonna take care of it. I think I am actually only hitting it. Yeah, Here, you, cool. You I'm, hit that and I'll, I'll shoot it. I'm not hitting the Rex. I'm gonna take it out. Nice, there, there he goes. Calicotherium. <laughs> I can never say their names right. Come on, kitty. And now it's just gonna get stuck eating its body. That's, That's fine. As long as it's not attacking us, it makes it much easier to tame. And we don't have to build a little trap for him. Oh, now he's gonna be mad. Oh, we've got Destroyer the Wyvern Tanker. Oh, that's not good. Did you almost fall? Yeah. Wrist and pepperonis. Not doing no damage. You're not? I'm getting... No, he's not. To the it's not Wyvern. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm getting no numbers. Oh, At least we're hitting it. We don't have any mutton or anything, do we? I brought mutton. Oh, you're a pro. This is... Taming from the back of a mount is, like, game-changing. This is pretty awesome. Why have we not done more of this? I'm gonna shoot him right in his calf muscle. That's my new target. <laughs> I don't know why I took amusement from that. I gotta shoot him as a little calf muscle. Let's, uh, shoot him right in his Achilles heel. Oh, maybe we can name this guy Achilles. No? No, ta name, no. no takers? Fine. Screw you guys. I wish that's good. My mom good. says I'm cool. She's been lying to me for years. <laughs> wow, I'm a tough crowd today, man. You guys suck. You're supposed to laugh at my terrible jokes. If you're like, Nick, you're so funny. You're supposed to lie to me, just like my mother. You're the best. Thanks, buddy. I knew I could count on you. I think it's so funny that this guy's just eating darts and trying to munch on Destroyer's Wyvern. And not oh, wait, he finally hit him. Yeah, now it's hurting him. Ooh. And moving. He's about to knock out. Yeah, he's he's getting he's getting scared. We're gonna keep up with you. Where'd he go? Oh. oh, I hit that! I hit that shot. That was so funny. Oh no! I'm going down the mountain. Are you? I think oh, I might have rip. just shot the wyvern on accident. Rip, rip, rip! Did you, don't die. Not dead yet. Excuse me, tree. I got I you. Ten health. Oh yeah, that's the way we. Oh, that's no. fun. That's how we roll in this trib. I'm good. I got food. Oh, I missed. I'm just gonna get up right up on him. Not so big now, are you, Rexikins? If we get an army of these guys, I think it's gonna be really, really good for either defense or offensive plant munching. Like this is the thing we kind of skipped over, in before we rebooted. Yeah. We didn't get enough defensive, like, big dinos like this. Or, oh, there he goes, he's out. We got a few, but not enough to really, like, hold our base down. And that's kind of the way I want defenses to go. Like, I want it to be epic dino battles to back and forth to defend your base instead of necessarily relying on turrets and passive structures. You got the mutton in them? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Okay, in that case, we'll let this guy tame up. It'll be pretty quick. And we'll be our bees with our brand new Rexicans, who we will affectionately name Achilles. Right? Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> Perfect name. Okay, guys, we are back. We've gotten our 140 Rex. Let's check out the stats and see what we're dealing with. And so far... Wow, he's already at four levels. So far, uh, 8.3k health, not too shabs. 314 melee damage at base. That's pretty darn good. Not super awesome, but pretty darn good. And Stam's really actually pretty high at 1,500. I think we did all right. I think we did all right. All right, we're going to have to get this guy back up to the top of the mountain. But that is pretty much going to do it for us today. It was a lot of a a, a talky-talky video. You know, we, we kind of had to go over a lot of stuff, and I 
I guess I turned it into an arc vlog style. And I hope you guys don't mind. I hope you still enjoyed the video. And I hope you're still enjoying Season 5. We're going to pick it up right where we left off. And things are going to be even more fun from this point on, I can assure you. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Please hit that thumbs up button for me. If you liked the video, let me know. And if you haven't done so yet, guys, please subscribe to the page for some more cool videos just like this one. And so you don't miss any of the upcoming Season 5 craziness. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to take care of yourselves. Stay awesome. And we'll catch you in the next one. Later.